Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Hannah. Today I've just filmed like a casual get ready with me. This is sort of like my everyday go-to makeup that I use. So I thought I'd just film myself getting ready and showing you all the products that I am loving at the moment. Um, I'm no like makeup artist, so I'm no professional at all, but I thought it was just nice to like, as I'm getting ready for the day, I'm trying to create some Instagram content and some, I'm doing a Q&A for my YouTube channel that'll probably be, already be up by the time this video is up. Um, so I'll link that up here, here I think. Yeah, so I'll try and link that as well. So that's what I'm getting ready for today. So I thought I might as well film myself getting ready for it. Please like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So I've just done my skincare routine and I'm currently trying out a whole new lot of products. So I've got a whole new skincare routine I've started like two days ago. So that's super exciting. I feel like I've already seen like results already, like within two days, which is, I'm probably just like wishful thinking or um, it could just be a coincidence that I'm having a skin, good skin day the same time I've, as I've started trying new products. But um, I don't know, I could have already seen results that quickly, I suppose. But I'm going to wait like a couple months to see like proper like results from the products and then hopefully I'll be able to do some sort of like skincare routine um, that I'll try and film but um, I'm really excited to be trying like this new routine so yeah I've done that small so prepped and moisturised um, so I'm just going to go like straight in with foundation I'm using um, Maybelline Fit Me one at the moment um, I'm actually on the hunt for like a new foundation like a drugstore affordable foundation um, I do quite like this one but um I don't know, um, I feel like unless I apply like a full coverage, um, it goes quite patchy on me. Um, I know a lot of people really get along well with it, but I've got quite oily skin, so I feel like, for me, I think it like separates on my skin a bit. So, I'm just going to put that all over. I'm just going to go for like a bit of a casual, everyday sort of look. It's so weird, I feel like every time I do my makeup on camera, I feel like I totally forget like, I feel like this is not how I normally do it. Do I, like, I think I put it here first normally. I don't know. It's like the pressures of, like, people watching you. I feel like I'm just, like, doing it all wrong. I kind of take this onto my eyelids as well and just use that to, like, prime my lids a bit. I don't really use a, an actual eyelid primer. I hope this lighting is okay for you guys. I'm still, like, sort of getting used to, like, the camera settings and stuff on this camera. Um, I noticed it's a bit annoying because, like, how you adjust the brightness of stuff is touch screen. So sometimes I'm just like fiddling with the camera. I've adjust like in my, in case of my vision, I notice the brightness is like really high up. Um, so like I can accidentally press the brightness up with my finger or something. And then when you like restart the camera every time, it doesn't go back to um, the original like default settings. It stays as what it was. So if you accidentally press something and change the settings, then that's, <laughs> it's gonna stay like that for a while until you figure out how to fix it. Um, oh, oh my god, this is so hard. I think I need to practice doing like get ready, get ready with me's and stuff like this, um, more often because I can't multitask at all. This is really hard. Like I feel like I'm doing it all different to how I normally do my makeup. Just not like I feel like I need to concentrate. I can't talk at the same time. I'm gonna start doing the right here as well. Seen a lot of people doing that recently, it gives a bit more of like the, the cat eye sort of look. And I sort of bring it to the sides of my nose a bit. I don't do like a full on like nose contour. Um, I've tried that many times, it just doesn't go right for me. But um, I find my nose just look a bit slimmer if I just bring it the sides a bit like that. Blend that in with the beauty blender as well. Not a beauty blender, like a dupe. <laughs> um, yeah, so was, did I actually say that like, if anyone's got any. Um, affordable foundations that they'd recommend please let me know let me know down below because I'm on a hunt I find foundations <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing this bit um the hardest thing in makeup to buy I think I said in my autumn haul how um I find jeans for clothes are the hardest and foundation for makeup is the hardest and honestly this so much to take into consideration when you think about foundations what kind of finish you want, if you want like satin or matte or dewy um, what skin cake, what skin you have, if you're oily or dry or whatever what, the colour itself, how dark or light but then also like the undertones how full coverage, light coverage so much to take consideration um, 
when buying a foundation. And sometimes they'll say something on them, that's one thing, but they actually end up being something else. Um, so yeah, it's very hard. I quite like a satin finish, so like, because I've got oily skin, I can't go like too dewy. Because I think like satin finishes are like perfect for me. And then um, I like quite full coverage as well. So that would be like my ideal. I feel like I need a little bit more. Where did I put that? Where's that gone? Where's my concealer gone? I just had it. I literally just had it. Oh, here it is. I'm just going to take a little bit more. So I'm looking in my mirror by here. Um, just a little bit lighter by there I think I need. And then I'm just going to take another concealer. Um, which one? This like uh, Revolution makeup one. Um, just because it's a little bit lighter and I want to put it on the side of my nose for to try and make it look slimmer. Just two little dots and then I'll blend them in like that. Anyway, I'm not giving you a makeup tutorial because no one's coming here for a makeup tutorial from me, let's be honest. Just thought it'd be nice to like sit down, have a little chat while I'm getting ready. Um, I'm just going to be doing like some like content for like YouTube and Instagram today so this is kind of like what I would like normally do for that kind of thing. Um, I've been really liking this, um, I think it's foundation stick from Revolution in the shade F13 but using it as like a contour shade and I always much prefer all my skin products to be like creams or liquids um, as opposed to like powders. Um, I just personally find for me they blend a lot easier. And I find sorry, this particular product, I prefer, think it blends easier, <laughs> I'll get my words out, if I like put the brush here first rather than drawing the line. I find it easier to blend like that. But yeah, I find I always prefer liquids and creams when do, on my skin because I just find, um, they one, they blend easier and two, I prefer the look of it because I like that sort of more dewy satin look, which I think when you're using a lot of powders, you can look more matte, obviously. So, yeah, I just prefer, I can see it on the camera, I can see it in real life and it doesn't look that intense. <laughs> I promise you, I think this camera's making it look more intense than it actually is. It's a bit more subtle, it looks very orange on there, but in person it doesn't. I promise. I like to put a bit under here. So it gives like the illusion of like a shadow from my lip because they're so like big and juicy. They're not, I kind of wish they were, that's why I'm kind of pretending they are. Creating this shadow. Do you know what I mean? I think it just helps put there. I also like to put a bit from the tip of my nose down to give the illusion it's a bit more like lifted. That's a bit much. If I ever do something that's a bit too much, I'll just take, go back to my beauty blender and sort of try and... Oh god, do it again. Yeah, that's about it. And then a little bit more, and I just go around my hairline. I actually have quite a small forehead. Um, my friends make fun of me with my small forehead. Holes, if you're watching. Um, calls me sloth forehead. Because <laughs> I look... Honestly, I'm going to put a picture of me compared to a sloth. Specifically Sid from Ice Age, actually. So I look like, because I like the small forehead. Um, so yeah, they make fun of my small forehead and don't worry, a lot of people think that's really mean but that's just our sense of humour. I know a lot of people contour their forehead to make it look smaller but I don't really want to do that because mine's already quite small. But I still want to have like that bronzed look so I just kind of keep it right up here and don't, I can't really bring it down any further. So yeah, I just kind of go from there to there. Now I used to just kind of go all the way like that. But I've noticed now, I've been really noticing how, oh my god, what's happening here? Um, on a lot of people's like, makeup, when you see like the really nice makeup on Instagram and stuff, like from the contour to here is like all like white, like not white, like that's like the highlighted shade and then the bronzer starts from here. And I think that looks like really flattering, it helps like the, the cat eye look and like the cheekbones look good. So yeah, I kind of start it. 
where we put the concealer here, imagine like it going up there. And I think that, what is this piece of hair doing? And then a bit on whatever's left of my brush, just on my jawline. That's the contour done. Okay, it's going to take me so much longer than I wanted. And then again, because I like the like liquid and cream products, I'm taking this highlighter. Um, it's the Becca Champagne Pop. So you can actually buy this in like a little set. That's what I did. They give you like a mini powder Champagne Pop, and then also like the liquid version together. So they go like really well together. Um, but I like just putting this, obviously, on the cheekbones. I think this gives more of like a natural looking glow, so it doesn't look like so intense and like you've got loads of highlight on it. I think it looks a bit more um, like a natural glow from within sort of look. And then back my beauty blender and just like sort of blend that in. Put a bit more. I just like the look that this gives a lot. I think when I do my makeup, my main focus is like on the skin. I like to try and get like that dewy, highlighted, glowy look, and then like a really flawless base. And then I kind of do everything else just quite minimal. But that's like where the main focus is. Um, what am I doing next? You see, like when I'm just doing my makeup day, I don't even like have to think about the steps. It's just automatic. But like, when I'm videoing it, I'm like, oh, uh, what do I normally do? So for powder, I'm using this. Revolution loose powder. It's quite annoying because it's quite full already. I'm like it's quite new, but like the writing's all rubbed off, so I'm not sure like the actual name. But it's just a Revolution loose powder in the shade banana. Banana. Why must that just sounds weird? Banana. Banana. No. Anyway, yeah. So I don't use a lot of powder. I know a lot of people like to like bake and stuff like that, but I just don't. I think it looks really cakey on me when I use a lot of powder. So I set my eyelid with that ready for. Not a lot comes out each time, but yeah, so I try and put that on there just so I think blends are easier. And then I literally try and use like the minimum amount of powder <laughs> I can use. So I just take a little bit and sort of dab it under my eyes just so I don't like get um, my mascara doesn't like smudge under there. And everyone says to avoid creasing, but I don't know. I've never really experienced creasing that much, or maybe I haven't, I just haven't noticed but my mascara does smudge unless I put powder so that under there and then just whatever's left sort of like in this section like just on my teaser in a bit but literally that's all I do for powder okay and then I move on to the eyes I think let me just check yeah then I move on to eyes but I come back to skin after so I'm really living this palette for um eyeshadow at the moment like revolution again I live like really affordable makeup um i do have actually some bougier products believe it or not no, i don't like when i say bougie i mean like a mac lipstick um but yeah i do quite like um this palette it's very affordable and i think the shades are just so lovely like that is my ideal palette um but you'll never guess what right i'm just gonna try and do my shadow while i'm talking um i pretty much like always use these two shades in my crease um what one should I use today? I'm gonna use Sahara. That one. Just gonna put it like a light wash in my crease. Um yeah, so I was on TikTok and you're never gonna believe it, but someone had a Huda Beauty palette and then on the back it actually says that these shadows are not suitable for the eyes. They're not safe for your eyes. What? Eyeshadow is not safe. To go on your eyes what like how are you allowed to sell eyeshadows that aren't okay so then, and then someone else was commenting like you can't just call out Huda Beauty as a brand this is what all brands do and I was like what so then I was like well, I'm gonna have a look peel this back on the back and it actually says that like there's like crosses through some of the shades and all the pressed pigment shades and there's like, like there's a star next to it and then underneath next to the star it's got like an eye and like a cross through it like it's not safe to go on your eyes let me try and find it where did i see it yeah so like on the back here it says um there's like stars next to like certain shades and then underneath there's the star and it says pressed pigment and then there's like an eye with an x going through it what so luckily it's not like the shades that i use all the time um but like so it must be like pressed pigments are not allowed on the eyes, but then 
obviously people use them all the time and there's no issues but and it's good they let you know on the packaging like not like many people would like read the back but at least it's it's not at least it's like it's not just like it's not safe and they're not letting you know there's like it's on the packaging but I just weird to think that they would sell stuff that isn't safe for their eyes you know I just find that quite quite odd I'm gonna try and like bring this out a bit as well don't normally do that but I'm feeling a bit adventurous today it's glitter on me by the way where did that come from thought that was quite interesting so you might want to check your eyeshadow palette check that they're suitable for your eyes I actually didn't want this to be like a tutorial I just wanted to like be chatting to you while I'm getting ready like how you do when like when you're with your friends getting ready for the day or something that sort of vibe but I keep telling you like all the products I'm using and stuff as well which is going to be a shame because if I ever do a makeup tutorial there's no bloody point because I only use the same products <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of sienna as well it's like a little bit darker than these two um, just to like deepen up that outer crease a little bit so yeah I'm sort of focusing it mostly on like the outer corner of my eye that's what I do that'll do for eyeshadow um, no I no. don't so I'm just going into like a really old Morphe palette and I'm taking like a cream shade and just putting that oh god hang on I have to get close to my mirror a sec so I decided like a cream colour to like the inner part of my eye actually I'm gonna put a little bit of that under the brow bone as well oh, I should have carved out my brows before I did this is it too late yeah I'm gonna leave that and then I'm gonna use like this white shade as well whoa under there just lightly to give a little highlight under there it's like a subtle one and I'm just gonna like deepen up my lash line I'm not gonna do like a wing or anything I'm just gonna try and do like a bit of like just darken my lash line a little bit with four two I can't pronounce that but I'm just gonna sorry I have to get close to my camera to do this part okay so now I'm just gonna go back to like finishing off the skin um so I'm gonna go blush I like this palette from Makeup Obsession which I think is like a yeah, it's by like Revolution Beauty as well, so like they're similar brands, very affordable again. Um I'm just gonna take a mixture of this shade and this shade. The one is like a bit shimmery and the one's matte, so I just kinda mix them both together. Um it is such a typical autumn day out today. It's like tipping down with rain, very miserable and grey. Um I kinda like it though, like normally I don't actually like this kind of weather I normally like oh no I miss summer but I'm actually quite feeling like the autumn vibes I think it's because normally I'd be out more in the rain having to like walk places and like just being out in like the miserable weather whereas like now I'm basically like, inside most of the time with the heat and all cozy like listening to the rain so it's a lot nicer autumn when you get to stay inside more <laughs> but um yeah so Wales has actually gone into lockdown again this Friday so we're on like a fire break they're calling it for two weeks like an intense lockdown I just got like a little old board with a blush because I feel like it's the first thing to like fade my makeup put a little bit on my nose as well yeah so got that now which is obviously not the best situation but hopefully I mean things will be a bit better by Christmas time we get to spend time with everyone um I'm using this highlighter by Illamasqua in the shade OMG it's just like a really nice like champagne sort of colour I'm gonna try and be a bit like not too generous with this I want to try and be like a bit of a subtle highlight nothing too crazy today but I always get a bit carried away with this part because I do like a glow so yeah I think this is also quite a good like glow from within you can definitely build it up to be more intense but I think you can do like a really natural I think this is really good for like bridal look and stuff because it can be quite a natural sort of highlight and I'm going to try and put a little bit on my nose as well actually with my finger just like in this centre never done this before don't know if now is the time I should be trying new things but here we go okay so and I think 
yeah I don't think I want to put any bronze on I think that cream one did enough for me so I'm going to go on mascara now and this is the best mascara ever it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I have really small um, lashes so it's going to be hard for me like I'm not the best model to show them off but make sure eyelashes look really good try and talk at the same time while I do it shall I I would find all the time mascaras would always smudge underneath my eyes and so many people would like I'd be out it didn't matter what mascara I would use I tried so many different mascaras lots of different waterproof ones put so much powder underneath my eyes I tried everything and no matter what I did I'd be out and people would be like oh your mascara's all under your eyes and I'd look and be like black smudges all under my eyes no matter what I did um probably because I have quite oily skin but um if you have this issue the same as me try this mascara don't get the waterproof one actually non-waterproof seems to be better um for some reason I just tried this mascara and it's the only one where I have no smudging at all like none at all like every single one I used before I'd have loads of smudging no matter what and this one zero so definitely give this a go if you suffer with your mascara smudging I'll try and leave the products I use down below as well if I can find them Mascara really is the game changer, isn't it? Okay, so mascara's all done. Now I'm going to move on to my brows. And I'm just using this Maybelline um, eyebrow pencil in the shade Soft Brown. And I was literally just doing, like, my weekly food shop. I was in, like, Sainsbury's. You know sometimes they have the things on the end where all, like, the sales are. And I just noticed they had loads of these. And they were, like, £2 or something in the sale. So I thought, oh, I might as well try them. And I actually really like it. It's really good. Um, so I just sort of, like, brush through them a bit. Um, so I can sort of see the shape of them a bit better and I'm just going to try and like tidy up the bottom part um, I'm probably going to have to get close to my mirror so you might not be able to see much of this I don't know if you can notice any difference from that because I literally did like the smallest amount I just like lined the bottom to like sort of make them look a bit tidier by there and then I'm using this new thing that I'm so excited about literally so affordable it's the collection um clear mascara but used as like a brow gel it's honestly so good it's like better than any brow gel i've ever used it, like really like holds them in place and i quite like how it kind of like defines the hairs so you can like see them a bit better um so i actually start halfway first and just brush these sort of bit sideways so not like straight up i do like that um what's it called brow lamination look um but I try and do a bit of like an in-between so brush these so they're going like slightly up and then only do the very front ones going like straight up so it's not like so that's how I kind of do them I just think it looks a bit more natural um a lot of people are saying that they think that this more like natural makeup look is gonna be like a big trend moving forward everyone's gonna try and be a bit more natural which is interesting because i feel like it's already a lot of people are trying to go for like the more natural look um not i'm not saying this is natural what i've got now but like a lot of more products trying to have like more natural look i think the idea of brow lamination is to be to make them look more natural so that's why i'm going to leave the brows like quite bushy so that's why i'm gonna leave the brows like so i feel like they're quite natural-ish looking um and quite full i'm trying to make them look quite fluffy um so we just gotta do lips now and then we are done oh i feel like i haven't like been very chatty during i wanted to be like quite chatty and just like talking to you guys um while just doing my makeup and i feel like it's been the opposite i've been like talking to you through everything i've done and not actually been just like chatting you about like random googly gob googly what's the saying random gibberish i don't know um but i haven't really got much to just chat about because i haven't really been doing a lot recently like we're in lockdown it's not the best situation for me because my boyfriend lives in birmingham so we can't be together at the moment which is a bit annoying i went like three weeks without seeing him saw him for one day and now i have to go another three weeks so like seen him once within like six weeks a bit annoying wish he lived closer um but obviously I can't complain. There's people in worse situations. It's always a lot nicer when I actually get to see him then. I put my lip products somewhere. Where did I put you? So lips I'm going to use. 
This is my favourite lip liner at the moment. It's MAC Strip Down. I feel like everyone has this lip liner, but it is just really good. That's why everyone's got it. Um, I also really want to get Spice and Cork, because I've seen a lot of people using them, and I like the look of those shades. So I really want to try those two as well. Uh, this is so hard. So once I've like sort of lined my lip, I sort of lie the pencil like flat to like go around the edges and I feel like it blends it into the lip a bit more and then I'm going to use this lipstick it's morphed over by Revlon um, shall I leave it at that? I think I'm going to make it look a little bit glossy so I'm going to put a NYX butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie I'm just going to like dab that in the centre just so it like, because it's a little bit lighter so I just want like the centre to be like a little bit lighter and also like just a little bit glossier. I'm going to put that over there. And we are all done. So this is the final look, just like my everyday go-to makeup. Um, probably wearing this most of like my Instagram pictures and in my YouTube videos it's kind of like my go-to thing. It might be like slightly different every time but like generally this is like the products I use and the kind of look I normally go for. Um, I have like three different lipsticks that I use all the time and they're all like very like similar. I forgot one thing I like to actually do now. Um, it's a new thing. Where's it gone? Okay. So I have like a freckle or beauty pop, whatever you want to call it, by here. Can't really see because I, I normally just like, do my makeup and I kind of forget it's even there and then end up, end up covering it. Um, but recently I've started like drawing it back in with my eyebrow pencil just because it's the brown like that can't even see it and then I also got a freckle over here so they're covered by my foundation a bit to sort of draw them back in you can't really see them but kind of can and then actually sometimes I go back in my beauty blender and just soften it a bit so that is like my go-to everyday makeup routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry I wasn't a bit more like chatty. I think I'm going to have to practice doing these a lot more because I don't know. I feel like I can't concentrate and do my makeup at the same Like I can't multitask at all. I need to be able to like do my makeup and chat at the same time. It's quite hard. I kind of, it's like everything just like went out the window. Like what I normally do without even thinking about. Suddenly I'm like, oh, what do I apply this way of like, oh, it's just not natural which I don't actually know why because I used to always get ready with my friends like when we when I was in uni and like even before then like before I'd like go on nights out and stuff like that was like my favourite part like just all getting ready together like listening to music all chatting doing our makeup choosing our outfits stuff together that was like my favourite part so I used to be able to do it I used to be able to talk and listen to music while doing my makeup but now I've just got used to like doing it and just I don't know like talking to you guys at the same time is a bit um Maybe I just need to do these more often, even though I kind of always go for the same sort of look. Um, if I'm going for like more of a like a glam look, I tend to do the same sort of thing really, especially like on the skin, maybe like a bit more highlighter, um, probably like just like a little bit more eyeshadow and then false lashes and that's probably like, actually I might do my eyebrows a bit more, I don't know. But yeah, similar sort of thing really, I don't really change much every time I do my makeup. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'm after affordable foundation, so if you've got any you can recommend, please let me know. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this like casual get ready with me. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!